there's something special about songs. Not just the record of the song, the song itself as an entity and then the production around it that is so intangible. It's the most intangible form of art, right? You can't touch it, it's in the air, it's very difficult to capture, it's difficult to play back. You can't just hang it on the wall, it's a process, right? And it's so wide open as an art form. There are no rules, you can do whatever you want, but then you do want in public, so you have to push the envelope but stay within the thread. It's a fascinating process, I love it. What I strive for is to create visuals from the music. The fun thing for me is to try and make things feel solid. I try and make it sound like they can touch everything and be ultra defined and cinematic, if you will. That's what I like to do with Atmos because there is space to let that happen. Mixing for Dolby Atmos Music is basically the physical version of what we've strived and learned to do in stereo for decades. When you mix in stereo, half the battle is to create space and height and depth and to try and make the music as encompassing as possible. With Atmos, if you want something to be above your head, you take the pattern, you put it above your head and it's solidly above your head. You don't have to trick it. Now, the instruments don't have to fight for the same spot. You don't have to EQ as much, you don't have to compress as much because there's more space. It's immersive, that's hence the name. So obviously that brings endless opportunities, right? What do I do? Where do I put the bass drum? Where do I put the vocals? Do I put the vocals behind me? Uh, do I put the vocal in front of me? Do I put the vocals on the side? Do I put the vocal above my head? The answer is yes. Whatever you want to do, and then you create the style. For me, it's an opportunity to break new ground and try new stuff. That's what I find the most exciting about it. The other thing that I find very exciting is that because of format reasons, there is no loudness war to be had, which means the music can breathe again. It doesn't have to be the loudest record on earth because with Atmos, every record is at the same loudness. You make the best possible sounding record, you adhere to the standard, and the system is designed to be a level playing field, and that's wonderful. Because you have more points of playback in the room, you can actually very precisely position your music wherever you want, exactly where you want it to be. Well, that's one aspect of it. But the, the thing that's amazing about Atmos is that it recreates that experience in real time, on the fly, on the playback system. And that's where it supersedes any other immersive format, meaning that if you're gonna take my file that I made here and you're gonna play it in your car and you have 14 speakers in your car, that file is gonna give you the full experience in the car. If you're on the go and you have your headphones, the technology will know, okay, now I'm gonna take all that stuff and I'm gonna make it feel good in stereo on a pair of headphones. That is the magic. That is what Atmos is all about. It's about creating one master file for your piece of music and letting the technology render it and create it, adapt it to the playback environment. It's not a static format. It is a dynamic format, meaning that it keeps getting better over time.